welcome back to my channel thank you so much for the love on the last video you guys are absolutely amazing if you're new here and you haven't subscribed well now is the time to do so hit that subscribe button and follow us on our social media pages that will be shown right here on the screen well I've got another DIY for you today and it's how to make your own robe something like what I'm wearing and obviously you can have different variants to it and it's a two-part video part one is going to be showing how to draft the pattern for your robe and then part two is going to be showing how to sew the robe like how to put it together okay and in case you don't know well my name is Ayotola and I'm a dressmaker and I dare say I'm a specialist in bridal robes so I've got a different page it's at robes by sewing it's going to be showing here um, and it's basically for my robes right and you guys are gonna see loads of stuff on there so yes I'm gonna be showing you how I do what I do how I do the magic that I do so yeah make sure you like this video I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it so please make sure you give us a thumbs up make sure you comment make make sure you share rather and um, yes if you make your own please tag us on social media we would love to see it okay and we might even feature it in one of our next videos maybe even in the part two all right guys enjoy the video thank you To make your robe pattern, you will need the following items. You will need a long ruler. You would also need a short ruler. You will need a pencil. But for the purpose of this video, I'll be working with a marker so you can see clearly. You will need a pair of scissors. You need your measuring tape. This is so you can put in long measurements. You will need your pattern master, which is what I'm holding right now. I need this to draw in the armhole curve. You'll need your measurements, and all my measurements are in inches for this video. I need the shoulder measurements, the hip measurements, and the robe length measurements, and I'm working with inches like I said earlier. You'd also need your pattern paper. To start off, you want to position your paper in portrait mode and then rule a line which we call the top line horizontally. This line is only going to serve as a guideline and is only two and a half centimeters in width. After ruling the top line, you want to go ahead and mark your robe length vertically on the paper. So from the top line, you place your measuring tape to the point where you want your robe to stop. In this case, it's 33 inches. After indicating your robe length across the paper, go ahead and rule a line to connect this point horizontally. This line will serve as your robe length line. The next step is to indicate 4 inches horizontally all along the paper as shown in the video. The 4 inches being marked will serve as the robe flap and this is very important to avoid exposure while wearing the robe. Connect the 4 inches point with a vertical line from the top line to the end line. Next up, divide the hip measurement by 4 and add an ease of 0.5 inch. This is because the robe is designed to be a loose fitted garment. After dividing the hip measurement by 4 and adding the ease of 0.5 inch, I will be left with 10.5 inches which I will mark horizontally from the top to the bottom. After that, I will connect this mark with a vertical line from the top line to the end point. The next step is to indicate the shoulder measurement. Divide the shoulder measurement you have by two. The new value you get will be what you put on paper. From the point where the top line meets the flap line, indicate your shoulder measurement value as shown in the video. Next, you want to draw in your ammo depth perpendicularly to the shoulder point as shown in the video. The ammo depth I'll be using is 9 inches. Please note that the ammo depth of 9 inches will vary according to rope sizes. You can check the description of this video for recommended sizes and measurements. On the ammo depth line, mark a point 0.5 inch 
after which go ahead and mark the neck width measurement. The recommended neck width measurement for this size is two and a half inches. Starting at the point where the top line meets the flap line, mark two and a half inches. Then with a ruler, connect this point to the 0.5 mark on the ammo depth line. On the flap line, mark the neck depth measurement. The recommended neck depth measurement for this size is 1 inch and with your pattern master, draw a curved line connecting the neck depth measurement to the neck width measurement as shown in the video. Next, we want to draw in our armhole curve as shown in the video. It's okay if your armhole goes in a little as that's how the human body is naturally. We are now done with the back row pattern. Label appropriately. For this one, you'll be cutting one piece on fold. Moving on to the front pattern. From the flap line, indicate the neckline depth that you prefer. I'll be using a neckline depth of 10 inches for this pattern because I don't want my neckline too high after I add my lapel. With a ruler, draw a slant line from the neck width point to the front neck depth point. Then extend the line from the front neck depth point to the end of the paper as shown in the video. You should have a long slant line by now and by this point we are done with our pattern. Cut up your pattern as shown in the video. To use the back pattern, all you need to do is fold in the flap as shown in the video. And to use the front pattern, all you need to do is fold out the flap and fold the neckline along the slant. Your row pattern is now all done. Please note that no allowances have been added to this pattern. To cut the back piece, cut one piece on fold and to cut the front piece cut two pieces thank you very much for watching this video please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it remember to like comment share and remember to subscribe thank you and catch you in my next video